Nowadays, there are many issues with inequality around the world, particularly in America, which is home to the richest people on Earth. On a smaller scale, however, rents and the cost of living have risen much faster than wages in recent times, with CEOs earning 300 times more than the typical employee. Take Gravity Payments, for example, a credit card payment processing business run by Dan Price, whose salary was 23 times higher than his employees. $1.1 million compared to $48,000. But Dan Price is now known as the CEO who set a flat salary of $70,000 across the entire business, sacrificing his own salary to be able to do it. What can only be described as a massive gamble, some said he was crazy, others said it was revolutionary. But here's the story of Dan Price and how he revolutionized payments in more ways than one. Here's how it happened. First off, who is Dan Price? Well, he comes from a humble background in rural Idaho, growing up as a member of a Christian rock band called Straightforward, and went into work helping coffee shop and bar owners to negotiate cheaper rates from credit card processing businesses. But by the time Dan Price went to university, he developed a better way, by processing the car transactions himself using outsourced technology. He started the business with savings and credit card debt alongside his brother Lucas. But the company grew as Gravity Payments built their own technology, bringing the processing power in-house. The business was a success and Price won business awards, meeting Barack Obama. But when the recession hit in 2008, revenues dropped significantly, almost destroying the entire business. This made him think about his previously stingy salaries that he offered his employees. He encountered a 2010 study by Princeton behavioral economist Dan Kahneman, who found that people didn't feel happier if their base income rose above $75,000, but they were considerably less happy if it was below $75,000. But Gravity Payment's strong culture and healthy business growth had meant increasing revenues and people were continuing to apply for positions. The penny dropped, however, when Jason Haley, one of his employees, complained about the low salaries, suggesting he wasn't able to live a decent life. Another colleague, Valerie, had suggested that her monthly bills had risen $200 and her life was chaotic, working two jobs to make ends meet. Price, having been scarred by the global financial crisis, had left wages low to protect the business, but has now transformed into a leader in the battle of income equality. From 2011 onwards, Price handed out pay rises of 20% annually, and the business profit continued to grow year on year, suggesting a productivity boost. But in 2015, Dan Price announced something extraordinary. Effective immediately, we're gonna put a scaled policy into place and we're gonna have a minimum uh, $70,000 pay rate for everyone that works here. Curious if anyone has any questions. He did it by slashing his own salary, but also mortgaging his two houses and forfeiting his stocks and savings, as well as dipping into company profits. Whilst this frustrated some of the higher earning employees, which saw a handful of departures, the rollout would double the salaries of 30 people and provide a pay rise for another 40. The market reaction, however, was incredibly mixed. A significant amount of negativity arose with some slamming the business. This is pure unadulterated socialism, which has never worked. That's why I hope this company is a case study in MBA programs on how socialism does not work, because it's gonna fail. Whilst others called it a publicity stunt, which also saw his brother Lucas sue the firm. Some people called Dan Price a communist or a socialist, and Harvard Business School did actually include gravity payments as part of an MBA. Whilst raising your costs isn't normally associated with increased growth and success, the positive reaction it had was incredible and outweighed any negativity. News coverage shot up with Price being featured featured on magazine covers, revenues rose sharply, and the amount of payments processed rose three times over. But it's not just the monetary outlook that's improved. The human factor is evident, with more babies being born in the team, people have been able to buy their own homes, paying more into their pensions, paying off debt, and one man was even able to spend more time working out, losing over 22 kilos. Productivity and motivation have improved because now people aren't thinking so much about money. 
The focus is no longer, I have to work for money, but rather, how can I do good work? Dan Price has had no second thoughts since he raised wages, and feels that it should be a moral imperative rather than a business strategy, suggesting that he wants the scorecard we have as business leaders to not be about money, but about purpose, impact, and service. I want those to be the things that we judge ourselves on. And that's how it happened. Thanks for watching.